Okay, hello everyone. Um, time to do bandit level 10 to level 11. We have a level goal that the password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt, which contains base64 encoded data. We have the same commands as before, and we have this new helpful reading material, base64, on Wikipedia. Now, if you're not very familiar with encoded data or encoding in general, I would suggest having a look, a look at this base64 on Wikipedia article. Um, and maybe googling encoding in general just to, to have an idea for it but as like a, a basic overview um, think of encoding data so we have binary data right um, all this data can be represented in binary in a computer so or it can be represented in one particular way um, encoding is just representing data in a different way so it's sort of like transforming the representation of data uh, and why would we do that, you might ask? It's because some ways of representing things uh, works better in certain situations. And, and we'll see an example of that with Base64 encoding in a minute. Um, I'd like to just say that, that remember that encoding is different to encryption. Encoding, there's no security. It's not like when you encode something, you're gaining any security. I mean, there's like the obvious fact that if someone doesn't know how it's encoded that's kind of like a, a sense of security I suppose but but with encryption it's much stronger right it's like unless someone knows the secret behind the encryption or some particular you know um, confidential information it's going to be very difficult depending on the, the encryption they've used to reverse back to the plain text or back to the original data um, so there's a, there's a difference there, right? One one is for security, one is for like convenience. Encoding is more for like convenience and um, necessity. Encryption is more for privacy and confidentiality and security, right? Okay, so with that little tiny um, snippet of information, let's have a a look at this data.txt file. So let's just check it's there, which it is, and cat data.txt. Okay, and we've got this string of letters and numbers and some equal signs at the end. Um, okay, so I should quickly, briefly mention what Base64 is um, as an encoding scheme. Basically, Base64 takes, if you imagine your data and you represent it in binary, so just loads of ones and zeros, right? You're going to have a lot of binary digits there. What base64 does is take each um, six bits and for every six bits it maps it to a letter or it maps it to a, a letter, a capital letter, number um, and there's a couple of sim other symbols in that um, encoding scheme in that sort of like translation. But essentially what it's going to do is take all that binary data and represent it in letters, numbers, you know, printable characters basically. And the reason why we would want to do that, why we would want to represent those ones and zeros in this particular way, um, is there's, there's several historical reasons, I guess. Um, for one, it's much shorter, right? If you wanted to transfer, uh, transmit that data, if this was all ones and zeros, it would be huge. And so this is significantly smaller. So that's one benefit. Uh, another benefit for Base64 in particular, I guess, is that because it maps them to printable characters, if you wanted to embed something in HTML file, for instance, where it's a text file, you know, the, the data needs to be represented as text, basically. You can't have unprintable characters in a HTML file. It will, you know, that's not going to work. You need to have printable text characters. And so this is a way that we can ensure our data is represented in a way that a HTML file, for instance, can understand. Uh, and then therefore we can sort of convert it back. Uh, so I hope that sort of that's a very you know short and sweet little um, sort of idea of why we could use something like base64. But please um, look at the article and and read up and find out more for yourself because uh, these are things that you'll need to have a better understanding of and a bit more intuition about. Anyway, enough of me rambling. We've got this base. 64 
data here uh, and we need to figure out how to decode it um, as you can see in the commands here we've got a base64 command so as always I think we should look at the man page for that command now the name is base64 and it's base64 encode slash decode data and print to standard output that's great we want to decode the data that's fantastic uh, we just have to put the file name and any options and here the D flag decodes so this is going to be pretty simple right? all we have to do is base64 with the D flag and then it's data.txt right? or tab auto completed there hit enter and there we have it uh, the password is this so that was really simple right um, as you can see base64 didn't have any security advantages there because it took one tiny little uh, command to reverse the uh, the encoding so that's why we think of it as an encoding um, yes anyway I'm gonna shut up <laughs> okay so that's as simple as it is for this one that's bandit level 10 to level 11 I'll see you on level 11 to level 12.